Hi, I'm Al Bundy. We're here at the New Jersey Capitol, uh, Trenton, New Jersey, for a special edition of Meet the Leaders, brought to you by Altice USA. My special guest is State Assemblyman Nicholas Chevrolati. Very good. Thank you so Very much good. for joining us. Now, listen, I know you're from the Bayonne area, so the first thing I got to ask you is where are we with the Bayonne Bridge Project? Is it done, almost done? I know uh, that's not really your... No, look, the Bayonne Bridge Project, as you know, has taken years. Okay, it's been a tremendous inconvenience uh, to the residents, especially downtown, but it's really important for the port's development. Right. And we're almost there. Uh, my understanding is that hopefully by summer of next year, both lanes will be open. You can cross the Bayonne Bridge now. They still have road closures uh, every now and then when they're moving the heavy equipment, but it's much better than it was a year ago. So we're making progress. Hopefully it'll be done by next July. And everybody's going to be excited about that. Now, at the same time, I understand on the planning board, there's some plans for a new project that's going to, I guess, increase uh, job opportunities. I guess it used to be the Gateway Project. It's something yeah. new now. I know Governor Murphy's pushing it. Governor Cuomo's pushing it. Yeah. I don't know if the president's so excited about it. <laughs> you know the project I'm talking about? I do. You know, the old Gateway Project, okay. we're, trying to, we're trying to bring it back. Look, that's key to unlocking the economic vitality of, nor of northern New Jersey. Not only Bayonne and Jersey City, but all of the northern part of the state. It's also, it's not just a New Jersey issue, right? It's a regional issue. Right. We need that tunnel. When we talk to people and they complain, about the, tra about the crowding on PATH, and we talk about New Jersey Transit constantly being delayed. All these issues are tied together. And when you look at a city like Bayonne, where we're unlocking the economic ca capacity of the military ocean terminal, we're looking at bringing in 2,700 jobs onto that site. That's not going to happen unless we continue to have the premier infrastructure system in place. That's why I'm a big supporter of the project, and I'm supporting Governor Murphy and his fight with the president to make sure New Jersey get gets its fair share. Some talk about being a federal shutdown nationwide. What does that do to a place like New Jersey if that happens? Look, first of all, there's no reason for it. You know, to hear President Trump declare that he would proudly accept the mantra of closing down the government shows that he has absolutely no idea of the reach of the federal government and the impact it has on everyday lives. Whether you're a federal employee and you're not getting that paycheck, or whether you're a senior citizen and you rely on Social Security, to listen to him talk and beat his chest on such an issue is just mind-boggling. Like, I don't understand it. Uh, it was only a few short years ago where you would hang your head in shame. And quite frankly, to tie the shutdown to the need to build this physical wall that any rational person knows is going to accomplish nothing is just bewildering to me. Mm. But he, he does a lot of things I don't understand. Now... A lot of people may not understand it today. Y'all were supposed to talk about, I think the legislature was going to talk about a minimum wage uh, being increased. They were going to talk about legalization of marijuana. And even, which I thought was over, this concern about redistricting. Uh, all of that got tabled. How do you feel about that happening today? And what's that all about? Well, look, I think... Now, on the redistricting, it was really difficult for, for me to support the plan that was put forth. The timing of it, uh, it there were clear appearances of gerrymandering. Plus, we I, saw this in other states, and it's not a good thing. No, and you know, look, I'm an academic, right? I teach political science. I talk about gerrymandering. It was, would really have been impossible for me to support that legislation. Look, legalized marijuana, we're getting there. I think the bill still needs some work. It's getting tightened. Are you worried about social injustice or are you worried about uh, home rule as it relates to I'm, I'm making a decision? Look, I think there are social injustice issues. I think we need to make sure that the expungement language in the bill is as strong as possible. Right? The reality is that there are several you know, thousands of individuals serving for distribution of pot that may not be captured by the expungent language. So we want to make sure that's stronger. The other thing is, and I may be in the minority, I'm still talking to leadership and the governor about limiting the number of these dispensaries within the district, within the legislative districts. Because the reality is we only have 261 Starbucks. I'm not sure we need more weed dispensaries than we need Starbucks. Stay with me about the minimum wage. Uh, I understand there's already been some cutouts, some modifications right. to it to try to make sure the small independent businesses can afford this minimum wage? What do you think? Well, look, I support the governor and Speaker Coughlin. I know that their heart's in the right spot and they're working towards a, a compromise. But I am one of the prime sponsors of a clean minimum wage. I think it's really important that we agree on a sensible timeline and we get as many people as possible up to $15 an hour.
and that's been my position since I was elected in 2015. It will continue to be my position. But I am confident in both Governor Murphy and Speaker Kaufman being able to work together to get us there. We out of town. Hey, let me help me with that name. It's Nicholas Chevrolati. There you go. You got it, Al. Hey, we're doing good here. Hey, <laughs> easy. And a special edition of Meet the Leaders here at the New Jersey State Assembly. Thank you. Thank you.